Um, my name is Chris Wickard. I'm the SRO over at the high school. So what I'm going to talk to you guys about today is, is vaping and jeweling. Okay? They're the same thing in my opinion, vaping and jeweling. But if you ask the kids if they have a jewel, are you vaping? They're going to tell you, no, I'm jeweling. So there's a difference with that. Um, what we have here is pretty much the evolution of jewels and vaping, these cigarettes. These are the older style ones. You might see like a older sibling that passes this down to their younger sibling. If you go on YouTube, you will see lots of videos and type in um, vape tricks. There's a lot of videos. There's actually competitions where they blow tricks like circles and hearts and all kinds of stuff. There's a whole subculture out there with this stuff. Um, so what they do with this one, and these two are the same way also. These are just kind of like the smaller version of this. But you see they got this clear part up here. This is where your juice goes in, it's called. So these are your juices, and these are all, in my opinion, if you look at them, they're all designed for kids. They all have nicotine in them, but the kids don't pay attention to that. They're looking at it, and this flavor is Fruity Pebbles Donut. Um, this one's Rice crispy, Strawberry, but they're all geared towards kids, so it's a sweeter flavor. So the teenage brain loves that craving on a sweet sugar part, okay? The newest thing is, and this is the, the hardest one to get, is the jewels. You guys, most parents look at this, and they think it's a flash drive. So if you look at the cartridge, it's got oil in it. I'll have all the stuff up here. You guys come take a look at it. Um, this little cartridge. is The same as 20 cigarettes. This is a pack of cigarettes in this one cartridge. So when a kid's hitting this all day, what they're doing is they're taking all that nicotine. And everyone knows nicotine is one of the top five addictive substances in the earth. So we're addicting 10, 12, 15, 16 year old kids on cigarettes again. It's just the new generation. This is the easiest thing in the world for kids to use. We have kids, I have Snapchat videos of students in classroom, the teachers at the board talking and they're hitting it and they're showing Snapchat videos of their friends, okay? They can take this, they can hit it, it's quiet, you don't even hear it. And then what they do is they'll blow it down their sleeve, their shirt, or they'll blow it in their sleeve with their sweatshirt. So if you're having kids that are wearing, you know, hoodie sweatshirts year round, those are your ones you might want to keep an eye on, okay? The kids that are, it's 85, 90 degrees outside and they're wearing a hoodie, why they're doing that is because they're sitting in class and they're blowing it right down that hoodie or they're blowing it in their sleeve. They take these and they can hide them in their watch bands. So you'll notice it's there if they got a hoodie on or a long sleeve. These are really easy to conceal. We're finding um, the pods, what they're doing with the pods and, the, car and the, the charger, they will cut holes in their backpack straps and hide them in their backpack straps. You don't even think to check there. The ticket violation is about $167. That's the only thing we can do to start getting people to start paying attention to it more. The day out suspensions, and the two days out wasn't really a phase anyway. These are very easy to use. This is a charger for it. This is all electronic. I mean, it's simple. You take your computer or anything you have a USB on and it's now charging, okay? That's all it takes. It's charging, it's ready to go. They bring this into school and they got it. And what it is is one person will bring it in and five or six people will be in the bathroom sharing it. It's not like traditional cigarette smoke where you, know, you go into a bar, that, I mean, most bars are smoke free now. But if you go into like an older bar where they used to smoke in there, you can still smell that cigarette smoke in the air, right? On these, there is no odor. You might have a sweet smelling odor. It might smell like a girl put on a little bit of um, like Bath and Body Works stuff or something. You're going to get that sweet smell to it. There's the, the vapor cloud is really quick. It dissipates. So when they blow it out, it's like a matter of seconds and it's gone. The problem we're really seeing this year is these are expensive. These come about, there are four of them in a pack. They're about $20 a pack. So what the kids are doing now is they're saving them. We were finding backpacks full of empties and we couldn't figure out why we were finding them. And it was usually on girls were carrying them around because the guys were getting checked. The girls were carrying them for their boyfriends or their friends. And then what they're doing is they're taking this stuff because this whole bottle is about $19. And then they're taking a paper clip and you can take this apart and refill it. And then they're actually selling them in the school. So we had them going for about three to four dollars a pod and they're making money off it. So I mean, if you figure this is, I mean, $20 for this, it doesn't take much to fill that up and you're making serious money. They're making a couple hundred bucks off of selling jewel pods. You figure we have 2,100 kids in the high school. On any given day with the jewels, I'm gonna guess five to 600 jewels walk around that building. And that sounds crazy, but it's probably realistic. And that's probably on the light side. But you gotta be careful with it. So if you start finding a girl, especially the girls for some reason, that have empties of these, you need to really talk to her about who she's hanging out with or pay attention to who she's hanging out with because more than likely, he's using her to carry them because he knows she won't get searched. Girls are tougher to search with them for, obvi for us, obviously, because they can hide in more places, in their bras, in their, and they know we're not going in there. Um, we've had kids in the office that will refuse to talk to us, 
and I know for a fact they've got it on them, you know, we'll find the cap and they know they got the jewel somewhere, but they refuse to give it up. So we call mom and dad and say, listen, take them home. They've got them on there somewhere. And then usually mom or dad will let us know later that they found it on them. So again, the girls are the ones that are really hiding it. Waistbands, backpacks, bras, underwear, but they know you're not checking there. They know we can't check there. So just be careful and conscious of that. This is probably, scale of one to 10, this is about a, a seven. The next part we're gonna talk about is, is the worst. This is the 10, okay? What these are is these are TH. Cartridges, okay? THC is the active ingredient in marijuana. We're finding these in the high school. I'll have you, you pass these around. Um, if you notice, like the darker oil liquid in here, that dark yellow liquid is pure concentrated THC. Um, and what they do is they have a slimmer battery pack. So like these are big and bulky. There's a shorter battery pack. If you look on the one, you'll see it's a gray one. So this is about the same size as a pencil, about three or four inches long. They threw that cartridge on there and then they can smoke pure THC. So if you were to go out on the street and buy marijuana, like raw form in about an ounce bag, you're looking at about 17 to 25% concentration of THC. That one cartridge is labeled as 98.8% THC. So it's almost pure THC. And what you're having with it is it has the opposite effect because it's so concentrated. You know, marijuana usually is one of those drugs that will mellow people out, kind of keep them calm. If you have any anxiety, this flips it and brings it out worse. If you have any kind of, you know, paranoia, it brings it worse because it's so potent and concentrated. There's a fancy like medical term for it a guy talked about, but I can't remember what it was, but it's, it's one of those things where it's just, it has the reverse effect because of how concentrated it is. And if you think about you know, THC or marijuana from the 60s and 70s, you're looking at that 10 to 12% range of THC. So marijuana on the street has gotten to, you know, more potent through the, the breeding of the plants. So we're up to 20, 25%, but you look at that, one hit you're taking in 98% THC. And those cartridges, they're buying them on the internet, they're about $40 a cartridge. So just be alert of what's going on out there. And if you guys have any, if you find anything and you're unsure of it, let us know. Those cartridges, for, they don't even smell like, you guys, I don't know if you guys ever smelled marijuana. I wish I could have brought some for you to smell, but they kind of frown at me taking evidence out of the lockers. <laughs> but marijuana kind of has like a skunky odor, distinct odor. Once you smell it, you'll know what it is for the rest of your life. These cartridges, because they refine it and they purify it down, you don't really get that odor. They'll mix it in with some sweetener in there too, so that when they smoke it, you don't get that traditional marijuana smoke smell out there, okay? You don't get that odor of burnt marijuana. You get more of a strawberry flavor or a grape flavor, whatever they're mixing it with to give you that sweetness to it. So it's really tough to hide, or really tough to find because it, it hides so well. It's so covered up. That is illegal, the possession of that's the same as possession of marijuana. Even though it's not raw marijuana, it's still illegal. It's the same exact charge. Um, Michigan now has legalized marijuana, so I'm gonna guess we're gonna start seeing more of it come across the borders around here. But all this stuff the kids that I'm dealing with are ordering it online and then they just have it shipped to their house. And it comes in little, like fancy little boxes. I should have brought the box, I didn't have one. But it's a golden black box and it tells you, you know, some of them are different, like that one I think was like Luke Skywalker blend or something. They all have different names to them. Alien Sour Diesel, whatever they want to, the strain it is, they'll put it in there and tell you what that is, okay? There's all kinds of different strains of marijuana.